Here is a quick tutorial on how to use the whiteboard. But before I begin, if you're using a Mac, it's very important to go to the System Preferences. Once you open up the Preferences, select Trackpad, and then make sure your secondary click is selected, and you also select the click in bottom right corner. This will allow you to select the note images that appear in the whiteboard. Once you're done, you open up the whiteboard, you have two options. You can actually open it up in Application Window, or you can open it up in Chrome Tab by simply selecting the Rock Out Loud Chrome Tab. Once you do that, your screen shares directly to your student. They'll see everything that you see. Here is your toolbar. This toolbar indicates a pencil, musical notes, you have a treble clef and bass clef, a tablature for guitar teaching, a tablature for bass and ukulele, you have a piano, an empty chord chart for guitar, empty chord chart for ukulele, the eraser tool, a text button so you can make lesson notes. You can also add images, for example, if you have flashcards, you can upload them here. PNG files, JPEG files will also be able to upload. PDFs will allow you to select a PDF on your computer and directly upload it into the whiteboard. And we do have shapes like circles and rectangles. Your undo button, your redo button. This is your trash can to clear the whiteboard. This allows you to save all of your lesson notes on the whiteboard. And this closes the whiteboard. Now that you have the whiteboard open, if you select treble clef, you'll see it appears right here on your screen. This can be moved anywhere you'd like, up or down. You can also <clears throat> remove it by hitting the undo button. So I'm going to pull up a treble clef, and I'm going to place this in the middle of my screen. Then I will select my musical note by selecting it. Once that's selected, you'll see it's a little gray. Go inside your whiteboard and right click on the bottom right mouse or trackpad like I showed you earlier. And then you can select every one of these notes here. Once they appear, you'll see the four pink dots, which allows you to position them any way you'd like on the whiteboard. So if you wanted to teach the circle of fifths, you can simply right click, pull up the sharp and place it wherever you'd like. All of the notes that are here for you to pick are in perfect proportion to the whiteboard. Once you've placed the notes here, and if you'd like to teach the scale, what I like to do is select my piano. By selecting my piano, it brings up a blank piano. By doing that, I'll select my pencil. By selecting the pencil, it gives me the option to change the thickness. I prefer to do a 26 point thickness and the color red simply because it stands out. Once I'm done, I can indicate an A major scale. By simply selecting the notes in the key of A, placing them on the piano keyboard, and now I have my A major scale. I can also save this whiteboard by selecting Save Whiteboard. By saving the whiteboard, it converts this to a PDF, stores it on your computer, and you can upload it directly to your student. For those people who want to use a PDF and annotate on their own piece of sheet music, you can clear the whiteboard and select PDF. By selecting the PDF, you can pull up just about any piece of sheet music you'd like. I can pull up notes that are in my music book that I have, which is my instructional book. So I can pull up Love Me Tender, and inside my whiteboard will appear Love Me Tender. It's very important to note that the whiteboard is only what you see. So you can select this and move it any way you'd like by selecting this little pink button. That pink dot allows you to minimize or maximize the size of that particular PDF because the nature of whiteboards are only what you see. You are unable to scroll up or down. It's only what you see on your device. You can then select the pencil tool, at which point you can select any size you want to annotate right here inside your PDF. You can draw, you can circle, you can undo, and you can redo. You can even select the text button and create lesson notes. I like to add the lesson notes on the side. And once you're done with this, simply save the whiteboard and then you can upload it to your student. This will save on your local computer. It's very important when you're done using your whiteboard, you can clear it or you can just minimize it or close it. By closing it, it will maintain everything in the whiteboard. 
until you clear it. So I'm going to clear my whiteboard. It's very important you hit the stop button before you hit the exit. So we will hit the stop sharing and then we will hit the exit button. I hope you enjoyed the presentation on how to use the whiteboard.